Morning guys, we are at the thrift store. Daniel's inside paying. I have, didn't find anything here this morning, but we are going to go check out all the other ones and hopefully we do find something. Some Kate Spade wallets, $25. Ew. Hey guys, it hasn't been a good thrift day so far. I feel like I'm like PMSing or something because I am not, everybody's annoying me. Everything is bothering me. <laughs> I'm trying to put a front that I'm not bitchy, but I feel extremely bitchy today. And the thing is I didn't, I didn't really do anything that made me bitchy or nobody did anything to make me bitchy. I just feel very bitchy today. Um, I don't know. But I feel like everything is fine. Although, I ain't gonna front. I'm having a good hair day. I think it's because I use my professional shampoo and then my conditioner together. Usually, I'll just use my conditioner. I don't shampoo my hair every day because, I, I don't know, I heard it's not good for you. So, I don't shampoo it every day. I probably shampoo twice a week. But I feel dirty if I don't wash my hair when I shower. And obviously, I shower every day. So... Um, I'll wet my hair and then I will just leave conditioner in it and then just like tie it up until I, and then wash my body. Then when I rinse my body, I'll rinse, well, I'll rinse my hair, then rinse my body along with it. So, um, right now I'm just using my bio silk shampoo that I thrifted for three bucks. That thing is expensive. It's like $25, $30. Like it's like the big container. Um, oh, sorry. No, it wasn't BioSilk. It's Scruples. Scruples. A professional brand, too. And then I am using my Chi conditioner, and that I paid $20 at Winners, I think. So, yeah. I'm actually very shocked and surprised that I don't have gray hair at my age yet, because everybody I know gets gray hair in their late 20s. And yo, Miss Philly, don't have no gray hair. And it's not genetics, because... <laughs> was I only gone for two minutes? No. That's crazy. You were gone for a while. Heck no, I was fast. Um, got my hairspray. It was on rollback. Was it? $5.97 to keep my hair looking fresh. But I also got to buy this and the, like, volumizer mousse from hairspray. the same brand. Well, I, don't, I, I don't know if hairspray makes the biggest difference. I, that volumizer mousse keeps my hair sunny. If I don't, yeah, I would. It, I would like mousse more in my hair than hairspray. I know, but I gotta keep. Like, if I just put mousse, it falls over. At least I can keep it. You know, it looks crusty, I guess, but it, put, it stays up. So, if anyone wants to know Daniel's uh, hair secrets, hair secrets, <laughs> give you guys a little demo. Uh, show your stuff. Everyone's gonna copy uh, my. Um, show your stuff. I will. Let's, let's show. Let's show it. Show it. Show it. Why are my receipts popping out of here? Okay. Got myself a pair of jeans. It's always nice thrifting your own jeans because I hate paying $90 at the store for these. And that's why I hate when people are like, you guys are just resellers and you're taking advantage. Um, we thrift for ourselves too. Mop. No, Upper. seriously, like these American Eagle jeans, like if you can get good savings. Oh, I got these for like 13 bucks. Good deal. I don't know. Mother mucker. Oh my god. I'll save some of the cooler pieces for last. I don't, I didn't know really what this was, but I'm thinking it's more of like a religious kind of choir kind of church thing. I don't know. Seasonal. Life is a we got this. Story. What song was that? Like a prayer? Oh, you, you, you did religious. that in the way of like my hero Foo Fighters. Like really? it sounded like, I'm like, what are you doing? Um, it says the living Christmas tree and it has the front logo. So I think it's like a choir based thing. I don't know, but I just really like the bold back lettering to the sweatshirt. It's a 90s fruit. I don't know. Green and black just remind me of like, I don't know, Tommy Knockers or Ghostbusters slime yeah, yeah, or yeah. something. But it gives me like a vintage vibe looking at the crew neck. So we got that. This one's cool. I have another, I think I have a Pittsburgh Steelers in this. It's uh, on Majestic, made in Canada, 90s Denver Broncos. That reminds me of who used to do a, a font like that, either Nike or Adidas. In the 90s, they did a font like that. Oh, for, like or Nautica. That. You mean that thing? Where, yeah, Nautica, where or it's all Nautica. sideways. Yeah, yeah. I, Nautica did a lot of that. Just throw the stuff in the back for now. 90s um, Nautica. We'll save the, yeah, the two coolest pieces for last. They're, they're actually pretty neat. Uh, wait, did we show the clothes yesterday? Yeah. No, we did. We'll show that. No, you didn't actually. So we'll show that too. Um, this is a really cool shirt I got today too. It's a 90s, like, 
Aboriginal art kind of shirt. Very nice. Really cool, like, lavender purple color. Boxy, extra large shirt, if any of you guys are interested. Nice, cool graphic. It's, it's raised slightly, but they don't print like they used to. Uh, this shirt's cool. New gen. Michael Jackson. King of Pop. Classic thriller cover. Really cool shirt. Essential. FYI, Thriller is the biggest selling album worldwide in the world. Not in America though. The biggest selling album in America is Evil's Greatest Hits. Because they had some like, really greatest hits out of all of them. Yeah, wow. the greatest hits album was Thriller. Okay, we'll, we'll do this one now since I found something I think that's a bit cooler. This piece is really cool. I've had this sweatshirt before with different logos. This is a Key West sweatshirt. Cool, um, all over print tie dye, like not really tie dye, but like, I am not letting you in. Paint layover. I don't let kind people of... in anymore because they don't. Ashley, <laughs> I'm trying to talk. I don't let people in because they don't wave. I hate people who don't wave. <laughs> Ashley, I'm trying to talk. There's a lot of people around us right now. Anyways, it's like one of those paint printed kind of sweatshirt. It's really cool design, but it's for the Ronald McDonald house. It's cool because it has the red collar. So it's just a really cool, like eight, late 80s, early 90s piece. I don't know. It's a really, I would go with lock jean colors. It's just a really nice piece. Quarter zip, really unique. Not everything. It's not something you find every day. Mother That's Trapper. Oh my God. I'm anxious right now. Um, We'll show a find from yesterday, actually, that we never showed off. A really cool find. This is what the front was, so I didn't expect much from it. If you look really carefully. I had to tell him what it was. No, I looked at the back. No, read, you didn't I know it didn't was the Eagles. You didn't know it was the Eagles. Eagles. I Elf freezes Eagles. over t-shirt. Really cool out. back graphic. Really neat. Dated 94. And then... This is probably the coolest find from today. I haven't seen these ones before, ever. Super in, but right here. Oh my god, hang on. We have a pair of late 80s, early 90s blue note overalls. What's this lettering called on the front of it? Embossment. Raised embossment. That is so cool. Look at the detail on the side of these jean overalls. What size are those? Uh, like Small, a medium. Maybe? I don't know if the light's on. Yeah, it's hard to see, but there's some cool stitch pattern along the side, but they're blue note uh, overalls. Here's the tag. They're really old, made in Hong Kong. Hong Kong. Hong Kong. Hong Kong. Why do you say it like that? <laughs> I assume Asians would say it. Hong Kong. <laughs> I like Hong Kong. Hong Kong. But yeah, a lot of cool pieces from today. I'd say the overalls and the Ronald McDonald piece are probably the most unique and cooler pieces of the bunch. And I also really like the Eagles top. Pretty cool. Today we are drinking vitamin water. It's my new drink. I figured out that uh, Dollar Tree is carrying it. And I save a lot of money by buying it there. I think, right? there. These are like $2.50, $3. Yeah, only that's Circle K. 7 yeah. But there it is. I usually go for the XXX flavor. I love XXX. But it's XOXOXO, zero sugar. I think there's two different kinds. XOXO. And you're drinking iced coffee like usual. This is where it's at. XOXO, Gossip Girl. XOXO, Gossip Girl. Do you ever used to watch Gossip Girl? No. I know it's popular though. I always saw it like, you know, on the old like Wait, TV you're, guide. Wait, you were like a kid in 2007. Yeah, but we used to go through the TV guide and we would see the name. TV guide, that's so weird you said that. I was, last night I was sitting in my bed and I was like, remember when we had to go through the TV guide and it would come to the newspaper and then you had to flip through the TV guide to see what was on the channels? So you couldn't preview it before? You couldn't like, there was no guide? No. You get your TV guide every Saturday morning. But you would like start to memorize channels and what they play. Not really, because they sometimes they switch things around. What about like, are you talking about like they, they aired movies or was this a TV show only kind no, of? No, any, anything. Like it'll say, like it'll have a list. It'll say Wednesday at at uh, 7 p.m. on NB on Channel Four Friends. It'll say that. Okay, that's pretty cool. I like. I think I if I grew up with that, I would miss that. And I would also almost miss. I, I well, I do miss because I lived those ages. I miss Blockbuster. I know. I miss that everything. Well, like I, I miss buying physicals and renting physicals, whereas everything is just. I don't necessarily miss renting physicals, just because, like, even well, the like, money part was yeah, it's expensive. 
Yeah. I mean, imagine if you were like going, you know, we had nothing to do, so you go to the blockbuster and a movie, love. and you fit, and then you're like, oh, I don't really like this movie, and it's like a waste of money. Or I remember actually I renting that. movies, and I'm like, I didn't even have time to watch them. I had to return them the next day. I'm more fr yeah, because there were some that you could only have for like new releases were only one day. One day, not two. I don't. No. I remember that two. It was always. never two days, unless it was toward the end, maybe. Um, yeah, you're pro okay, I'm and weren't those, didn't they cost more? I remember video games were like $10 a rental for a week for one game. And it's sort of crazy that I always made my mom do that, but she had, we went all the time, and she had all these freebies, and, but we were almost just better off buying some of this stuff. Although I can say, I hate nowadays that you think you have everything at your fingertips with movies and TV shows, no. but do you really? You have to have like 20 different live stream services to find certain shows. I go on those whatever those apps are where they have all the movies and you can't you can't even find what you're looking for it doesn't load it's just it's or sometimes you have to pay for it and i'm like why am i paying for a streaming service i have to pay for a movie yeah you're paying for a streaming service to pay for me it makes no sense so i remember i used to rent like back in the 90s i would always rent it was like 10 movies for 10 days for 10 dollars but you had to be the old movies mm -hmm. so i would rent like 80s movies, early 90s. But you would have to. That was your only way of watching them. Yeah. Because you couldn't stream them. No. Um, we didn't even get streaming in, in Canada until 2011, I think, or 12. Really? Like, we didn't get Netflix till then. Well, at least I can say there is still thrill in hunting things then, too. So if you don't want to pay for a subscription, it's fun because we go to the thrift store and we'll look for the season or box set. Like yesterday, or the, on the weekend, we found that Game of Thrones box set, which is cool because it's a pain to find online right now. I think yeah. they, that you can only get it on, like, HBO. HBO Max, yeah. Like, so, I'm trying to find, I was trying to find to stream Drop Dead Diva, and I can't find it anywhere. Huh? It's on YouTube, but they want you to pay for the season. See, like, I'm still hunting all the David Lynch stuff. Like, I, I still haven't paid full price for the Twin Peaks set. But it would be nice to find it at the thrift. Whereas, that stuff was available on Netflix. It's gone now. It's gone. So, it's just like... Your contract runs out eventually. It's just, it's frustrating a bit. But at the same point, it almost brings the thrill back of you, like, going to Blockbuster. But you just gotta hunt some of these, these movies if they're important to you. I like to have, like, some of my favorites on physical. Mm -hmm. I don't know about you, but... I do. Ooh, that you stupid truck. Truck off, truck. <laughs> you why is it the same parking lot as me? Go She's away. She's following you. Go away. Amazon came to our house like <laughs> yesterday and they like, they brought a package to the door and then they're like, oh, there was another one. <laughs> and they have to like run back up. My Timu order came today, so I'm going to do another Timu video. And yes, they paid me. Why, why am I not getting some order? Guys, yesterday's video was abruptly uh, disconnected, like it, it ended abruptly. Um, but I literally found nothing all day yesterday, um, which sucks. So I just wanted to end the video properly. This is the day after. We're doing another vlog. So, um, yeah. Yesterday was a shit day. And today so far has been a kind of a crappy day for thrifting too. But we've, we're only at like our third thrift store. This week has been garbage. Negative. Negative energy. HIV negative.